And he kept saying, I want to go. I want to go. But we refused it with every fiber of our being because he was my best friend. And I couldn't imagine life without him. Oh, my eyes. My eyes are on him. And I can tell you it hurts. Get up for her in the name of Jesus. When my best friend got to the, the end of the road, and he kept saying, I want to go home. We, we kept counteracting it, refusing, rejecting it with everything in us. And when he'd say, I want to go home, we would say, no. I would tell him so strongly, honey, no, you cannot say that. You're not going anywhere. And he would say, I want to go home. We'd say, no, stop. You're already home. You're already home. You don't need to say such things. And then he would say, they are coming. We'd chase them away. We we'll tell them, go back. You, 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 where are you coming? Go back. You're not coming. And he kept saying, I want to go. I want to go. But we refused it with every fiber of our being because he was my best friend. And I couldn't imagine life without him. And I said, God, you have such a sense of humor. Because I thought you'd rather take me and keep him. Because he has the vision. He knows where we are going. He knows all these things. And I go back to the scripture I kept telling you I'm standing on. Second Chronicles 20 and verse 12. Now we are surrounded and we don't know what to do. But our eyes are on you. And today, that's what I can say as JCC. Our eyes are on you. And this is what I tell God. Thank you, Bishop. Thank you, Bishop, for all that you prophesied, all that you've spoken, all those prayers, Bishop. It means a lot. You being a father in this land, you ordained Bishop and I to be Reverend Kathy. You ordained us. So it, it means it's deep. It means a lot for you to stand here and just affirm me. You know, it means a lot. And, and, and Apostle, thank you for coming all the way. Apostle called me and he said, listen, I'm going to be there in a flash. And I'm going to stand with you until the end. Because I knew he had gone through what we are going through right now. Church, what I can say is, I don't know what to do. Oh, my eyes. My eyes are on him. And I can tell you it hurts. It hurts. It hurts so bad. It's so painful. It pierces. Everybody that knows us knows. 
that he was my best friend. Everyone that knows us knows that I loved Bishop with every breath that I could take. I loved him with everything in me. And today when I sat on the seat that <laughs> When I sat on that seat that Bishop has always sat on, that I've always honored, <laughs> it's not easy. <laughs> it's not easy. All I can say is a God. Let your will be done. And here I am, Lord. Whatever you can use. Whatever you can use. I'm here, Lord. Just use it. However you can. I'm surrendered, Lord. I love the Lord with everything in me. And I surrender. And I say, God, I surrender. I surrender myself. I surrender the work. And I ask you, just use me for your glory. Use me, Lord, for your glory. And I ask you, as a church, as my sons, Let's do this. Let's do this. Let's do this. Let's do this. Let's honor God in unity. Let's honor God. Let's not be a fighting church. Let's honor God. Our bishop has left a legacy. I was telling somebody, oh, please sit down. I don't want you to be too tired. I was telling somebody, you know, God always knows the end from the beginning. He knows it all. I was telling somebody that Bishop was never given a chance by God to be a child. We married in our twenties, we were so young when we married. And from the time we married, that man of God was a man on a mission. Now I see, you know, they say, many times we see in hindsight, now I see, he never joked. Bishop, he lived like a hundred year old man in his 20s and 30s when we began church we were young but he was so focused for those of you who are there he was so focused and so driven and so given that even when we went on holiday even when he did the hallies yeah he lived a good life and God gave him such a good house his house looked so handsome you can just laugh there. <laughs> because the other day when we went to the mortuary, I can't even believe I'm saying that. But when we went to the mortuary the other day to see him, the Lord just reminded me this is not him. This is his house. He's gone. You know, he, this is just his house. And I said, thank you, God that you actually did give him a good house. He was a handsome man. And not only was he handsome, but extremely loving. Bishop loved me loudly. He loved me loudly. And the entire world can attest to the fact that that man of God loved me loudly. It wasn't fake. And what you saw is what you got. And he was very focused. And now I see why. It's because his time on earth was, was not going to be as long as we thought. 
And so God wanted him to do things quickly. And quickly he did. Because what Bishop, the legacy he has left behind, Bishop Mark, Bishop JB, Bishop Kitonga, all the amazing bishops of this land were telling me, you don't understand. People a hundred years have not done half what Bishop has done. And so guys, he has left us a very rich legacy. Rich. And he has showed us that it can be done. And the thing that we can give back to our bishop, that he can just look on and be smiling, is that unity, that togetherness, and that focus to accomplish our purpose. And I ask you, by the mercies of God, to pray for me. Pray for me and my kids. They say to me that it gets worse. That when we put him in the grave, it even gets worse. That it gets lonely. That it gets tougher. I need you. I need you guys. Please don't look at me like this strong woman. That's what everybody calls me, this strong woman. Right now, I need your prayers. I need you to uphold me. Because I don't know how to navigate through this. And I want to start here and tell you how strong I am. But I want to let you know the real story is that I'm wounded. And I'm hurting. And my best friend has left. And even though, though we know that he's not dead, he's with Christ, even though we know all that, it doesn't mean that it doesn't hurt. It hurts. And it hurts bad. So please, keep me in your prayers. Please, I beseech you. Oh, yes, mom. I need you. Oh, yes. Keep me in your prayers. Yes, we will. Secondly, we got this. Because he's got us. We will do this. Yes. By the masses of God. Yes. If you know that I'm talking to you, I want everybody to just rise up on your feet, hold each other like this. Just hold each other like this. Say, we got this. We got this. We got this. We got and, this. And then at the count of three, I want us to give Jesus the loudest shout. Because, because hope, listen carefully, we have not lost a battle. Mm -hmm. We have won a battle. Mm -hmm. Dr. Cindy Trim called me and she said God told her a bishop is a seed. And now that he's gone as a seed, we're going to see a manifestation of God's power. And that's why when you said it, we all lost it. When Bishop said it, we all lost it because we had shared with a few people here last night, uh, uh, pa the pastors, my sons were around me, and that's what they shared. They said, God told us. My sister came from London. As she was landing, the Spirit of God said to her, he's an expensive seed, but that's what he is. That he is a seed on the ground that's going to manifest. Do you know, a few weeks before Bishop went to be with the Lord, I stood on this altar and I said to the church, Bishop has sent me to you. Do you remember that? And do you remember what he said? He said, tell JCC we are becoming very big. And then he said, tell them not to be intimidated by it. Did you remember? Not to be intimidated by anything. He said that to me, Bishop, and I came and shared with the church. So you know what? We may be hurting. We may be in pain. But we're not going to get intimidated. We're going to do what God says do. And we're going to accomplish purpose in the name of Jesus Christ. Mm -hmm. Now at the count of three, I want us to, this one is for Bishop, to tell him we're here. And it is well in the name of Jesus. I want us to give glory, hallelujah, to the King of glory. Let your Bishop see it today in the name of Jesus. One, two, three, just shout to the Lord. <laughs> Shout with the voice of triumph. Shout like you really mean it. 